Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the browser, okay? This is very, 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 very important initially, but when you start making music and you have all of the files that you need to make the music, this is irrelevant, okay? So once you've got all of your stuff that you wanted, you can just get rid of it by pressing the browser button twice. Okay, but I'm just going to show you why you need it before I tell you why you don't why you need to get rid of it, which is probably a good idea. Okay, so here you've got loads and loads of different stuff, and you look at it and go, what the actual fuck, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, the first thing you want to do, if you're new and you just want to get some drum stuff together, is go into packs. And this will be your basic standard drum kit. In all fairness, it's pretty shit. But at the same time, you know, it's good to get started. So you can just go on there and, and, and listen to some sounds. And when you find one you like, like, ooh, like a nice ride or something, you double click, so you get it like this. And you can see it because it's all ghosty in the background. You say, woo, and you can bring it over to there and let it drop it. Double and click to drop it. And it will appear on um, as one of your new channels. New channels, that's what I was on about earlier. Okay. And you can do that with anything. Um, so that's, this is mainly for drums. Um, if you want to bring it, you know, I, I just use it for drums really. I don't usually have samples, but um, you can actually put your own drum loops. If you find them online, I don't care how you find them. If you find them, make sure you do so in a legitimate way, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so if you do find them, you can go into the user by right click and then you go, if you right click and go to the Windows shell menu, ooh, it should bring it up. Windows shell menu, open, there you go. Okay, so you render shell open and then it will show you the directory how you get there and then you can just post loads of stuff in there like I have and I just make it my own and put loads of weird stuff and make it really unorganized like yeah so that's what you want to do um, some other cool stuff is the current project which will have all of your history so if you're like oh my god I actually didn't want to do that one thing then you can go on the history and and you can just go back to a certain point which is what I do make sure you set it quickly I'll just quickly show you how you set it to do that is if you go onto file, get onto your settings, and then you go down to undo history and put it on like five million, and then it'll be okay. Um, and that means you can just go back to millions of times until you basically it basically documents every single move you made. Um, so yeah, and then there's what other stuff. That's basically it, really. I mean, you got projects, and you can drag and drop, but it's basically the same as that, really. It's mainly for drums. So this is where you get all your drums from, all right? So once you've done that, you can get rid of this because you don't need it and you can get to work on your beat. Okay, so in the next video, we'll be doing the next thing, which is the mixer. Okay, I um, hope you've enjoyed and keep on making music.